Hello everyone. Now today you can see what's in front of us there. Look, it's the Bund cake tin. Now this, Wendy's greased that look and put flour on it and stop it sticking. Let me move that out of the way so you can see. Now there's that many ingredients there, look. Mate, I think I'll save you the pain of me going all through them and getting it wrong. I think we'll have to do it as we go along, but I will put the ingredients in anyway. But this is going to be a red velvet bund cake. Now, this is not the first time we've done this. And Wendy's done it and it wasn't red enough. It was too bright. The cake tasted fantastic, but she weren't happy because it weren't red enough. So what we've done, we oh. bought this look from Morrison's. Gel. And it's gel and it's much stronger apparently. Now the way we're going to do this cake slightly different. Now we'll see how it works out. But this wants to be really red and you can see the colour of it there. We've used that old tube in there, but it was only just over a pound. But, well, to me, it tasted fantastic when it wasn't red. But, well, let's just get on with it. And we'll see what happens. Because this promises to be really good. Let's see how we go. We'll make a start and I'll bring you back. Right, we set up now. Let's make a start to this cake. Now, first of all... As I say, we've done this before. Mm -hmm. So first of all, Wendy's going to mix all the dry ingredients together. Now, when you look at the picture and the ingredients, it looks complicated, but it's not really. You've got to try and make it as simple as you can. So well, there's, I don't know which one's one salt, one's baking powder, and one's baking soda. Right. Right. That's all going through the sieve. Yep. Let it go through. You're going to do the same with that. I'm going to, yeah. Yeah. Then so I'll the give cocoa powder's gone in. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll get it all in. There you go. That's all Sid now. It gets rid of any lumps, doesn't it? If you've got any. Right. So that was fairly simple, wasn't it? I think it's the measuring out it's taking the time. To be honest. No. Oh. Give me that. Oh well. Not wetting anything. Oh well, no, because you won't wash it. <laughs> no, I'm not washing up. I'm a cameraman. I wander <laughs> off and then we go wrong. Is that what? I have to keep my eye on you. Although you think I don't. <laughs> right, let's have a look. What's you missed out now? Come on, have a look. Nothing. But the summer. No. Oh, I'm, sure there is. I'm good. Right, now you just want to get this mixed. Now we could use the mixer, but we thought we'd do it by hand. Well, I know it's disappearing out the shot a bit, oh, but it's, no, it's all right. It's hard for you. Just you pull just it want me to you. bang me head. Yeah, I just want it in the picture. So, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> right now, uh, it's going. That's all. Yeah, it's looking like get that it's... all mixed in. Now that looks fine. As you see, we thought we'll do it by hand, save like. getting the mixer out. That looks pretty good yeah, to me. Looks... Right, now there's the dry mix. We are getting a few reflections in the camera, but there they're not there. that. Yeah, it's in the camera. Hmm. Right, we'll bring you back. We'll put that to one side. Right, here we go with the second part. So we'll get the eggs in. Now, <laughs> in this, this cake, everything was sort of tipped in together. And then you just mixed it up. So, but we'll go along steady and just incorporate everything. Now, this is your oil, oil. going in. As I say, I'm not, I'm not guessing the measurement. Right? I'm no. going to I'm going to put them in the ingredients no, no, because it's it. very confusing. I mean, we actually see videos where they tell you as they go along, and you can't you can't keep up, can you? So, I, I will put everything in the description. Um, vanilla. That's vanilla, yeah. Now, we had a bit of vinegar in this one. Yeah, I'll I? put the buttermilk in first. Um. Now, this is buttermilk. You can make buttermilk, but which we have in the past and it works, but this time... We didn't want any problems because we wondered if that was affecting the red colour. So we've bought mm. buttermilk this time, but you can make it. 
we have done yeah. before in other cakes but for this we didn't right mm -hmm. that's mixed in it's amazing how many shops don't have buttermilk but as I say you can make it either with white vinegar or with lemon I don't know what that but, is uh, I don't know <laughs> <fishy> towel. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not stopping in there. Mm. <laughs> right. right, vinegar. Now the vinegar's going in. Oh, I don't seem right, does it, vinegar? There's some extra stuff in that. I don't want to waste it. No. And then the eggs. The, not the eggs, the butter. Um, have we got the... No, I'll do this then. Oh, that's all right and take one it's warm enough yeah. just scrape it all in sorry now with the butter see. i warmed it in the microwave you have to be so careful you don't it can soon bubble yeah i've been very careful with that so that should be fine have you noticed how i've left the the red stuff till the last right now we're open when you mix <laughs> this it should be a real red it better be because we've used that old tube we've not got anymore I need you're gonna have to scrape that to out in we go in we go with the coloring now we want to make sure we can get all this because this this red stuff it really is red <laughs> but as i say the oh. way we're making this now you'll see I if it's red some of it up and then yeah you now that's looking redder than it did before <laughs> so it's looking a bit more promising right now somehow you've got to get the rest of that red out of there i will do make sure look there's bits in there oh that looks all right. all right that is that is a lot redder than it was before definitely now you'll see all <laughs> different cakes recipes <laughs> telling you different things uh, we put one tablespoon of red colorant in, but we use the dye. Now this is the, like a paste; it's yeah, stronger. You, you can get little, uh, little Audis. Yeah, they have the mate, red color. But it just didn't seem that. Well, bad. I think you need double quantity because if you do, that's what we're going to it, say. It's only liquid. This is more of a paste. It is. You can see it's stronger. So we're hoping it's going to be enough, which. It's looking like it is actually. Mm -hmm. Right, are we happy with that? That's going straight in some water. I don't want this red everywhere. <laughs> do like I've had a murder. We'll all be eyes a kite with this. Hey, should we give it to the kids and then send them home? Yeah. Now, I've just run some cold water into the bowl it's it a little strong isn't it it looks like there's been a murder <laughs> <laughs> not very good at it but i never mind <laughs> do you think i've got it all <laughs> i think you have it looks red that's the main yeah, thing now that does. lot get that give me mm -hmm. that i don't want to put that down anyway this i just want to make right. sure it's all put in mixed in Let's move to the next stage. Right now, before we carry on, look, there was the tiniest bit of red colour left in that container. Look how red that mineral water is. I thought I'd just show you that because you don't want this stuff all over the place, mate. Do you? Look at that. Never get. It looks like it's been a murder. Right now, we've got this far. You just gradually mix the wet with the dry. As I say, we're doing this by hand. So, you're going to lose it, you know, if you just no. stay there. Let me come around here. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, go on. I'll put a bit more in. Yep. It's not the best pouring jug, this, is it? No, really, I should have done that. I never thought no, I should have. Just making more washing off. Yeah. 
Now you can just tip it straight in, but we didn't think that was a good idea, so... Right, get a bit more in. Now most of that's gone in, so we'll get this last bit in. Now give it a good, no, good old, yeah, that's out. what, I've done it. Now I'm wrong handed here, but. Don't need to do that now. Ooh, oh, red on me. No, I've got it all. No, you do. haven't, there's loads there. I can't do it with <laughs> my left hand. Right. You get the idea. It's easy enough, isn't it? You just mix that into there. Get it as smooth as we can. Man, there's stuff on the other side. Come on. And then mix it up. Now, when you see this, it looks a bit, is it going to be right or not? But to me, that looks just how we want it to look. That There's little bits of dry in there still, yeah, isn't there? I think, it, I think it's coming off the top of here, look. Is there. It? Mm. It's on your mixer. Just I think it is inside the cake, that's why I'm it? trying, because I'm well, doing them. I've just seen one bit come off there. Yeah. Right, that. Now, <clears throat> if anything... That's going brown about the in here, but it looks a lot redder than it did before. Oh, it so does. that's a lot better. Yeah. Right. I mean, I can try and. We'll finish getting this mixed up. Yeah. And I'll bring you back before Wendy disappears out of the picture altogether. Why? Oh, you're going out of the picture oh, again. Sorry, Why I like to see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll bring you back. Right, as you can see there, now just a gentle motion look, a few figure eights, throw it all in. And uh, that's mixed lovely now, so that's ready to go in the tin. So let's get the oven warmed up, and Wendy's going to put that into the tin. Right, there's the cake going in the tin. Well, mate, we all know how to pour a cake in a tin. <laughs> just spread it out nice and even, and Wendy will just give it a little tap so it, it goes in all the nooks and crannies. And in the meantime, I'm going to warm the oven up. Right, I've warmed the oven and I've set it to save my embarrassment. You see we're on there, on cake, so it should be on the slow fan. Right, let's just get it in. Oh, that's nice and warm, I can feel it. There's the cake going in. And we're on the bottom setting there with the tray. Get that nice and central. Off we go. As you can see, we are on the slow fan speed, aren't we? Let's check. Yes, we are. You can check by there. Look, there's the fast. There you go. So we're on the cake setting, which is bake, and we're on the low fan speed. 140 degrees, 45 minutes. Let's just have a look inside. Not much to look at at the moment. You can see how the cake's sitting. That should be fine there. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, the cake's finished, we can get it out. Well, we're going to check it. Mm. Now this can go two ways. It's either cooked or it's not cooked. What a it's, stupid thing to it's, say. It's red I and couldn't it's not resist red. it. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's true. Will it be red or will it not be red? That's the red? question, not the answer. Now let's mm. have a look. Right. Come on then. Does it look red? It does through the camera. No, it does look red. Mm -hmm. Does that look red? Like right? far off. Why, right, Hold on. Because I don't right. want to cook it too much. It's hard it on the will... top. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. bottom. It will cook slightly. I think that's done. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I tell you, I've got to be honest, mm -hmm. I think these bump tins are fantastic. Um, they really are. Well, I was going to try. If the cake's yeah. not right, it's not right in the middle. 
and this ain't got a middle look at that oh mm. come on I mean, we'll let it cut there's a reason it'll be cut and there'll be a oh yeah we'll make that we'll nice make and that. flat but to be honest yeah. it looks pretty flat and you'll see anyway. what we do right let's get this cake out the tin you've been round the edges you yeah. usually do don't you yeah oh right yeah let's Oops. see if it comes out uh, oh look at that oh mm. well it looks red it better look red <laughs> is, it, is it soft it looks it, it is yeah it's very soft oh look at that it's like a big jelly yeah that looks lovely now it needs to cool down it, yeah and then i'll it's put just the bottom and then yeah we'll, we'll level it up yeah. when it's nice and cool but yeah. you can see the air bubbles inside let me show you a bit closer yeah. can you see that look oh that looks really light and airy I think it's going to be as nice as the last one except maybe a bit redder right there's the cake cooled down I'm going to move that what if I don't knock the camera over yeah right. right now you can see it's just a little higher this side so you need to slice a piece off there mm. don't you Bit, bit more oh that's the way i'd do it here yeah. so if we're not it the right way about there now what we need to do is save these bits when he's not got a bowl we get one a little plate will do mm -hmm. yeah mm. a bit slippery mm -hmm. I took too much off. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of there. And I think it'll be about right then. <laughs> it's a bit soft. I'm worried you're going to break it. Mm. I think that'll do you. I shouldn't risk yeah. any more. Right now. Let's move them crumbs. I put them crumbs up there. I'm going to put it onto a. The cake stand. The Oops. That's the bits that I cut there. Is that stand straight? That's not bad. If you lift it up, I'll take the wire out. Yeah. And the crumbs. Look at the crumbs. <laughs> not all of them. No. The piece has gone in my mouth. Right. Let's move you on to the next stage. Right. Let's carry on with this mm. frosting. First, Wendy's going to sieve this. Right, that's sieved the icing sugar. So next, Wendy's putting the the butter into it. Mm -hmm. Right, what's this you're putting in? Cream cheese. Right. As I say, I will list the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Now the idea of this cream cheese, it'll thicken it up and it, well it'll taste lovely as well but it will make the frosting a bit stiffer so it should stick nicely to the top of the cake but uh, I better be careful what I say in case it all runs down. <laughs> but you know often we've done it with milk and it needs to be nice and thick but I think this will be very thick and I think it'll sit lovely but let's just see what happens. Right, Wendy's going to get that mixed and I'll bring you back. Right, we'll just show you this frosting and the consistency of it. Look, it's quite runny, but not ribbon, hopefully, <laughs> ribbon effect. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's going to be okay. But let's get the cake yeah. back round and give it a go. Right, let's get this dribbled on the top. And all you do, just run it along the top there. And it'll run down hopefully. the side on its own. <laughs> well, hopefully. Let's hope it don't just run on the inside. It's being lazy. What do you do? I'll just keep dribbling it on. Oh, oh you've gone off the edge now. Look at that. You're going to have a great run down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been really careful. You can tell I'm getting impatient for a bit of this cake, can't you? 
standing here fiddling around, mate. I want to get a piece. I want to, but... I'm still going to have to wait when it's done. It's still not. <laughs> That's all right. Keep tipping it Is on it the going? top. It'll go, it'll go. Oh, dear. Right. We'll get this done. It's not as And I'll pretty. bring you back. Right, now there's your frosting on top. And just for effect, now we're having a few crumbs sprinkled on the top, look. I tell you what, I think the crumbs look redder than the cake. <laughs> I think it's just because it's in little bits and it's against that white. Well, off-white. Almost yellow, isn't it? Now, I've just tasted that uh, frosting. Oh, that's lovely. I'm trying to make the soft crumbs. Yeah, when you were just saying to me, if we had to do this in the other oven, you know, the normal old-fashioned oven, we won't be doing it because it is so hot. We've had a right heat wave, haven't we, when we're doing this cake. And, you know, we can put the Lavoie fan on in the kitchen while we've got the air fryer on. It cools it down straight away. It's pretty good. But if you had the big oven blasting away, it creates so much heat. Yeah, Wendy just thought she'd mention that, but it's true, really. It's not all... You know, we're not just saving money using the air fryer. But uh, that's cut lovely. Well, if it's not gorgeous inside, I'd be absolutely stunned because the last one was. There's no reason this shouldn't be. But, uh, of course, we'll leave this now and we'll, uh, we'll have a, a taste in a little while. You need a, a picture of it. Oh, let's get a picture. <laughs> Wendy holding the cake. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. See, can mm -hmm. you stand it up? Oh. No, go and lay it down. Lay it then. Down. Now, the reason I said cut me a piece first is so I can show you. Cut Somebody's mowing the grass, mate. You'll have to put up with that now. <laughs> Can you see how red that cake is? Look, look at that. Let's have a taste. Ooh. I've lost my middle. Oh, is that your middle? Oh, <laughs> it's so soft. Can I, can I? Can you see how soft that is? Mm. It really is like velvet. It's so soft. Just a quick little bit of video look showing you the inside of that cake. Look at it. Can you see? That's so moist, it's worked out really well. That topping's beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Now, I don't know whether you can see that. I might try and zoom in. I'll show you after because. I fear it's going to get a little noisy out here with mowing the grass. Well, and maybe I'm going to do the same. Oh, I forgot to show you strawberries off the garden. Right, we're going to enjoy this now. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Me and Wendy will see you soon. Bye.